Hi, it's Mark with At My Home, and I'm at Valerie's mom's house, and we finally convinced her to replace her old-fashioned locks, her not-smart locks, uh, both the regular handle lock, which has a key in it, as well as the deadbolt lock with a smart lock. In this case, the Quickset Halo Wi-Fi touchscreen smart lock. And it's Wi-Fi, so she doesn't have to worry about having a hub or anything like that. So we'll get this thing installed. And we also picked up a new handle because this handle here has a key and we don't want a key because we have a smart lock. So we picked this one up and we made sure they were the same color. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna unbox the quick set smart lock and uh, then I'll install it and we'll set up the app and we'll give it a try. Okay, so what we really wanna do is unbox the Halo smart lock from quick set. So let's take a look. Well, nice product packaging. And here we go. So what we have is the touch screen and they a little nice little plastic on here. I'll leave it on for when we're installing. And then here's the key lock. And then behind it, you see this is the cable that's gonna pass through the door and this will hook up to the other end. So let's take this off. Let's see what else we have here. Well, first of all, there's a little little device here. Looks like we'll put that in, a, in the hole for the door. And what else do we have in here? Let's see. Oh, this must be the inside part of the lock. Here we go, the inside piece. And there's the electronics. And there's the cable that the other one will attach to inside the door. And uh, what's nice is they got a nice looking handle for the inside. And then inside of here, there's a case for four AA batteries. And it just plugs in here. And there we go. What else do we have? Let's see. Oh, we have the lock set. So this goes into the door jam, All right? All right. And they gave us the four batteries so we don't have to go hunting for batteries. That's nice. And then it looks like a bunch of screws and everything else because they probably have to handle different thicknesses of doors. And then a new strike plate to put on so it'll match the same color as what we're installing with some more screws. Let's see, there's more in here. Plastic bag, we don't need that. All right, tuck that down there. Oh, and the keys. So they give you two keys, which is nice. And what else? Oh, activating the screen. I guess we do that after we install the lock. And then we have the Halo installation instructions. So we're going to go through and install this. So that's it. Those are all the things you need to install the, the halo lock, including the directions. Okay, so now we have uh, installed the handle here, the stool without the, without the lock, and I've installed the, the bolt here. So this is the outside keypad, and we need to add this ring. So it goes on like this, and it just fits here, and we're gonna use that when we go put it in the door. It'll make up the difference in the hole. Okay, so we have to take this plate off. This is the mounting plate, and you gotta watch the little wire here. Take that out. Now we got the mounting plate off. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put this plate in here. And we're going to put this through the hole here. You got to make sure it's lined up. Push that through and then we're going to take this mounting plate and we're going to hook it on the other side of the door. Okay, now what we have to do is take the screws. You got to make sure to get the right screw set. All right, so we're going to put the screws on the other side. And you have to feed the, when you do this, you got to make sure you feed the wire through correctly on that mounting plate. Okay, it wants us to test the key. So we'll test the key out here. Oh, look at that. Latch goes in. Latch goes out. We got it. 
So the key works. Okay, now the next step is to uh, hook up the inside electronics. We're going to take this inside piece. We made sure that this thing's all lined up, and we're going to connect this wire up first. There's an arrow. I don't know if you can see the arrows, but there's an arrow on the cable. There's an arrow on this cable. So we'll line that up. Then we'll put this on. So you have to kind of push all this cabling inside of here. That's it. Okay, that's installed. No problem. Okay, so let's go ahead and put the screws in the side here. Okay, now we've gotten both screws put in there, so that, that assembly is nice and nice and tight. All right, now we're going to put the batteries in, so we're going to remove the battery cover. I'll put the four batteries in. That's it, batteries are in. It says it's to the door, so we'll put it back in here. Boom, it's in. All right, let's see what happens next. No, it's making sounds. That must be a good thing. All right, after a few seconds, the latch will retract and extend on its own. This is called the door handling process. I don't know why it didn't do anything. Okay, so let's see. So the door handling process did not happen. Okay, so it turned out we needed to do a factory reset. So let's uh, see how that works. So you pull the batteries out. You press the button, you let it down. You've got to wait 30 seconds until that light goes red down there underneath my finger. Okay, it goes red. I press it again. And now what should happen is this latch will go in and out as it does the door handling procedure. Okay, so it's finished the door handling procedure. With the door open, insert the key into the extended latch. Ensure the latch extends smoothly. All right. I'll put the key in the lock. And it goes, goes smoothly back and forth. So that's good. So we know that works. All right. Close the door and rotate the key. Okay, so I went outside and I tested the lock and it worked like a champ. So now I just take this, put the plate on, and see it works. Oop! Now that's me beeping because I was touching the touchpad outside. Okay, so now we'll just put these in the cover. All right, I now have the screws in the cover. I actually have the, an extra screw because I didn't put it in this plate, so you should save it. And that's it. I believe we're done. Now we just have to install this, the app. Installing the app is easy. You just download the app on your Apple or Android phone, create an account, and answer 500 security questions. Well, not quite 500, but to ensure lock security, they do have you do quite a bit. So be patient. It's only tedious, but not hard. Then you create a home. This is where all of your quick set locks are stored. This is a nice feature, especially if you have more than one home. You can control all the homes from this one app. Then you'll be asked to add a lock. Click the icon in the upper right corner. Now you'll need to remove the lock cover. Hopefully you left out that screw that holds it in. Or you'll first need to remove those two side screws. Now, while holding your phone close to the lock, press the A button on the lock for three seconds. It's on the left side, not the middle one. You'll hear a beep and see a blue flashing LED. You should soon see your lock listed, just click it. The lock will beep and flash, then answer yes, and be sure to answer yes to the Bluetooth pairing request. More than likely, you'll be asked to update the firmware. Go ahead and do that now. Yes, it does take a while, and you need to stay near the lock. At least it has a progress bar. Name your lock. Then the lock will look for your Wi-Fi network. Select it and enter the network password. You do remember it, right? Now, it will connect to your network, connect to the Quickset Cloud, plus it will attach the lock to your home, whatever that means, and activate your account. Your phone may get a notification that the lock is locked. We did. This is a good sign. You should also see a success dialog. 
Your lock is now set. Now you need to add an access code. You'll notice that you used your first name from when you signed up for an account. Enter four to eight digits. You'll need to remember them to get in. So make sure it's something you'll remember, but others won't guess. You will see the lock status screen and some screen messages. To open or close the lock, just tap the circle in the middle. You'll also see status icons near the top for cloud, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and battery. Before you quit, click settings in the bottom of the screen. You should turn on secure screen. This adds two random numbers to the lock touch screen before you enter your code. You don't have to remember them. The idea is you press those first so that your fingerprints on the screen are all over the place so someone would have a hard time guessing your code. This is a genius security feature. The other feature here of note is auto lock delay. If you turn this one on, the lock will automatically lock after 30 seconds to 10 minutes depending on your selection. Unless it's just you in the home, you can add others to your lock and give them their own code to get in. Select people at the bottom of the home screen. Select add person on the top right of the screen and enter the name of the person and give them a code. You can also define a schedule type for them. This allows you to restrict their use by time of day, dates, or frequency. This is handy for letting in your pet sitter that needs to enter the home while you're away. That's it. Now your lock is set up and programmed. Remember, you can always go back and add others, change codes, or reschedule access. Now, if you lock the door with the app, either while home or away, it's just a press of the circle. You'll even get a notification when the lock is unlocked or locked. Oh, and if you wonder if the pet sitter came and for how long, there's a handy lock history feature. You'll know by whom or what, plus the date and the time. Even if the key is used, you'll know. All right, so we've installed the lock. Let's see how it operates. So we just came out, so let me lock it. So four fingers on the pad, press the lock, that's it, it locks. It is a little noisy, but at least you know it's locking. Now we want to unlock it. So four fingers, it comes up with a random code, that's so that the fingerprints don't show all the time, a pattern, and then we put in our code, and that's it, it unlocks the door, now we can get in the house. It's as easy as that, and if you need to use a key, let's say your batteries are dead or whatever else, there is still a key here, so you can actually use a key to open, open and lock the door. Well, thank you for watching our video today, and I'll put some links on where to buy the Quickset Halo touchscreen smart lock in the description below. And please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and for more smart home stories, visit appmyhome.com. Thank you.